What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a video material in Unreal Engine 4, uh, 4.26 to be exact, but it works in anything, and um, your result will look similar to the video screens in uh, this scene. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into a project. I'm going to make a new project here. And I'll just make a blank project. And we'll call this um, Video Screens. Now, I'm going to copy this video here because I'm going to need to place it into a Movies folder. So the first thing we need to do is create a new folder called Movies, and then explore to it. Uh, let's see, show an explorer. And we're going to paste that in there. All right. The reason we're putting it in a Movies folder is because if you package your project, the only videos that are saved are in that Movies folder. So if you have them um, on your desktop, for example, and only referenced in here, they won't actually show up. So now that it's in the movies folder, let's go ahead and open that uh, folder back up. We're going to drag the reference of it in here. And if we open it, we'll see that it has the path here. I'm going to save. All right, so now we have our video reference to our video within the project. Next, we want to create a media player object. So we'll right click and we'll go to media and we'll go to media player. We want to do a video output. So hit OK. And we can leave that name media player. And you'll see that now we have um, a media texture and the player itself. We'll open up the player itself and double click on this, this video and we'll hit save and um, now it's set up as the video texture so now we need something to actually play the video on so we're just going to drag a plane from our basic shapes into our scene raise it up a little bit and then drag this texture onto it and you'll see that it creates a new material map and now we want to actually rotate this to the proper orientation. So we'll rotate this 90 degrees and then rotate it down 90 degrees. And we want to widen it slightly for that 16 by 9 ratio. That looks good. And now it's in our scene. However, when we hit play, nothing happens. So what we need to do is go into our level blueprint. And we need to make a reference to this file. So let's go ahead and make a begin play node. And then we're going to create a new variable and call this media player. We're going to change it from a Boolean to a media player. We're going to hit compile. And we're going to choose the media player that we made. Perfect. So now we want to drag our media player and choose get media player into our uh, blueprints. And we want to open source. Great. And we'll drag this in. And this is the media source that's going to be playing. Let it compile. And in our scene, we can now see our video playing and you can um, add spatial sound or add sound directly to the video if you want um, if you need a video on that let me know and i'll make another video uh, just leave me a comment in the comment section below um, but i feel like audio is a pretty easy one to just add in um, separately uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching and in the next one i'll show you how to use your webcam as a source and then chroma key out your uh, green screen in the background so yeah, thank you so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below peace what? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs>
I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers. It's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.